Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome in. I hope you're all doing really well. My name's Amanda and this is The Connected Conduit. This is going to be a timeless love reading for you. So whenever you find it, you are meant to. This will be a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. And I'm picking up on some energy here. Um, recently, something has shifted, okay? There's been a really big energetic shift. There's been a push. There's been change, transformation. And I'm hearing that new beginnings are approaching for both of you in your own lives individually and a new beginning is approaching in terms of your connection for the both of you, okay? Um, <clears throat> so this Divine Masculine though, this Divine Masculine Collective that I'm picking up on, right now I'm feeling like the Five of Wands type of energy where there's conflict, there's struggling, they're feeling at war with themselves. They're changing and they're struggling with this change. They're feeling very unsettled and ungrounded. There's been a really big upset, okay? There's been like an upset, an uprooting. Nothing is the same as it was. And this Divine Masculine is feeling flabbergasted, like all over the place, a little bit spacey, like, whoa, what do I do? This is a lot. Okay, big, big changes. They don't see things the way they used to, okay? Um, there's conflict in the household. There's conflict within themselves. There's conflict between your masculine and other people. If your masculine's with a karmic partner or a soulmate partner, there's conflict between the two of them. There's conflict with family members. There's arguments, headaches, and there's also these karmic loops that your masculine is still involving themselves in but they are fully aware that it's not good for them and they're fully aware that they need to end these patterns okay because they're exhausted they are exhausted so divine feminine i was tapping into your energy and i like it i like what i'm feeling so you're feeling free you're feeling liberated you've surrendered this up okay Yes, you're here, you're watching this video, you're curious to know about your masculine and this journey, but you're not um, clinging on to the idea of union or anything like that. You've really surrendered this up, you're going with the flow of life, and I feel like you're looking forward to a really bright future that you have created for yourself. You're happy, you're happy, you know, and I feel like you fought really hard to get where you are. You've worked really hard to get where you are and you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You're lear learning new skills. You're engaging in hobbies. You're having fun. You're forming new friendships and you're living life to the fullest, which is just so beautiful. And this makes you very, very magnetic. Okay. Your masculine feels this and they have FOMO. Okay. That's what I just heard. They have FOMO, fear of missing out. Because they can feel your energy and they know you're having a good time and they want to be there by your side, enjoying life with you. However, this divine masculine makes it very difficult, okay? They make life difficult, you guys, because they keep avoiding this change or resisting it and pretending like it's not happening, right? Like the two of swords energy where they're plugging their ears, closing their eyes, going la 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 la, this isn't happening, no la la la. But it is, it is happening, okay? So I tapped into spirit and I said, spirit, what do you want to say about this? And they responded that tower moments are on their way to this masculine, okay? Big tower moments are on this way in order to wake them up and shake them up, okay? This is going to force the change is what spirit said. Force it because this masculine has had ample time to create the change necessary, but they keep resisting it, okay? Um, and so tower moments are coming in, tower moments, and this is just going to force your masculine's hand, okay? They're no longer going to be able to sweep things under the rug or ignore things or plug their ears. They're going to have to look at it, and they're going to have to deal with it, and they're going to have to take action and make changes. Also, Spirit says that, like, resistance is futile. Just like you, Divine Feminine, had to surrender control, so does your masculine. You both are on this path of surrender, okay? And I feel that you surrendered first, and your masculine is following up the rear here, <laughs> okay? And I heard, what you resist persists, 
and this is what's happening to your masculine. So they don't view their current life or their current situation or their current relationships with other people the same way they used to. And <clears throat> at the same time, though, they're refusing to speak their truth and take action and make changes in all areas of their life. Okay. And you know what's happening because of this? Because they're not making changes and living authentically and standing in their truth and making changes, they're starting to experience a lot of conflict and resentment. Resentment was the word I was getting. Resentment for their partner, if they are with a partner, is increasing day by day. They're very unhappy in this relationship. If they're not with someone else, you guys, it's just they're unhappy in their life, period. Full stop, okay? They're not enjoying their job. Um, they're not resonating with certain friends anymore. Um, they're sick and tired of living some sort of karmic loop, karmic pattern. Um, and I just feel like they, they're they unhappy and everyone around them knows it, but they haven't spoken their truth. It hasn't been voiced. But this is what's coming, okay? This is what's coming because I can see a masculine standing up opening up their mouth and all of these butterflies are coming out of their mouth okay this is symbolic for that your masculine is going to stand up and talk about change how they've changed and how they want to progress and move forward in their life and what kind of changes they want to see in the physical world okay so they're being heavily encouraged to speak their truth by by the divine Okay, or else it's going to be forced out of them. It's going to be forced out of them because a tower moment is going to come in and force their hand. And they're going to reach a breaking point, right? They're going to reach a total breaking point, And then it actually may come out in the form of anger, irritation, resentment. They may shout. Um, it could be, you know, more negative than it has to be because it's being repressed so this is why spirit wants your masculine to speak up now or else a tower moment may cause them to sort of lash out in anger okay um divine feminine i asked spirit what your advice is and it's to make peace with the past in all ways make peace with the past this is a great time for you to let go um today is the full moon i think i'm going to post it today but if i don't <laughs> On the next full moon, that will be a great time for you to do more release work if you choose to do so. But make peace with the past and also make peace with the things that went down and occurred between you and your masculine. Okay, um, I feel this this shift in you, Divine Feminine, where maybe you you could have held a little bit of resentment towards your masculine, resentment towards um, a karmic partner or towards their partner if they were in a relationship. But I feel that you are embracing compassion, forgiveness, and love, okay? And now it's like, you know what? You're just, you just want your masculine to be happy, and you're sending love to them, and you're wishing them well. And I even feel like you're sending love to this partner of theirs if they're with someone, okay? Whether this is a karmic partner or a soulmate partner, I feel that you're just like, you know what? I just want you, just be happy, just be happy, right? Um, but you know deep down inside that your masculine is not happy, okay? And it's it's almost like the more love you send your masculine, the more it pulls them in. The more you detach, the more it pulls them in. The more you surrender and move forward towards new beginnings, the more it pulls them in, okay? But yeah, that is basically the message that I received from Spirit. And now let's pull on it. The energy has shifted. Change is here. Oh, the star has come out. Healing. Alignment. Justice and the Ten of Swords. So, there's an ending. There's an ending here. Okay. I feel like this is an ending on your masculine side, but let's see. Let's let's tap in. Let's see what's going on here. The six of wands. So 
I love seeing this because this is showing me that your masculine is going to have victory over the five of wands, which is conflict and feeling unsettled and struggling, right? Um, there is a choice in love here, the lovers. So they could have been going back and forth about this decision for a long time. And they know, they know it's time to move. They know it's time to get off the fence. Okay. Um, they they know this, but whether or not they actually do it is another thing, which is why Spirit's going to send in a tower moment. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So it's looking like your Divine Masculine is stepping into an energy of knowing their worth, knowing their value. And I'm noticing the little eyeball perched on her hand. It's like they see things differently. They see life differently. They want different things. They're not the same person anymore. And I feel like there's this really great desire to want to be free and liberated and live authentically. And if they're in a connection, I feel this masculine wants to be single. They want to be on their own for a while. They want to experience life again on their own without being committed to anyone so that they can rediscover who they are at a soul level because for many of you this is a masculine who has been in a long-term commitment with another person for a long time like half of their life basically okay i'm just heavily picking that up for for some of you yeah the queen of swords So it's like your masculine's taking out their sword of discernment and cutting away what no longer serves them. And they're getting prepared to speak their truth, you guys. But there is fear here with the moon. There is fear around opening up, letting their truth be known. Because for the longest time, they've suppressed their truth. They've kept it hidden from everyone, even including themselves, you know. But it's like now they're finally getting to this place where they're wanting to face it. The Wheel of Fortune. So this signifies a big change, you guys. Big, big change. Um, divine timing. Destiny. The universe taking control. And I feel like that's what's happening here, okay? It's, it's like you guys, all you have to do is surrender. <laughs> surrender and allow. Allow the change. Allow the shift. Um... And in divine timing, everything's going to come together. Everything's going to work out perfectly just as it should. There's no need to, you know, control anything. It's, it's all just going to unfold perfectly because, yeah, it's like the more we try to control things and make the universe bend to our will, the more painful it is because that's not in our control. It's not. Okay. Um, and the universe is stepping in here. And they're getting things moving in the right direction. They're getting this masculine moving. All right. Opening up to change. Three of cups. Yeah. So I feel that there's been a third party here, you guys. There's been a third party and your masculine wishes to detach from this, this third party. Okay. And be single. The Ten of Pentacles. So your masculine is really needing to speak their truth to everyone. Okay? Like everyone in their family. Um, and really get this off their chest is how I feel. There's a lot of fear here. Every time I look down at the bottom, when I talk about them speaking their truth, there's like the moon or the devil, which is fear. Um, and I feel also like your masculine's ancestors, spirit, uh, spirit guides and, and, and angels, they've been trying to get through to your masculine here about how to create more stability and abundance in their life. Okay. And how to get rid of devil energy or karmic loops. Right. Oh yeah. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. The wheel of fortune. So this speaks to karmic loops, okay? And I feel like this is something your masculine is overcoming. All of these karmic cycles, once and for all. Death. 
Nice. Okay. The death energy has been coming through to me for like the past week or two, you guys. It's a big, big, big energy. This is how I opened up this reading. I said the energy has shifted. There's been change and transformation. That is what the death card is all about. It's about change and transformation. Caterpillar to the butterfly. Something must end so that a new beginning can occur okay it's like we have winter everything dies in the winter and then it comes back to life in the spring okay there's a cycle there's seasons and i just feel like this is coming back around you guys there has been a shift here there's been a shift there's been change and transformation and now this new beginning is approaching for you we have the emperor coming out so divine masculine energy this is showing me that your masculine is taking control, right? Starting to take control of their life, of their destiny, taking the lead, taking ownership, all right? Um, why was I picking up on this Five of Wands energy, this conflict, feeling unsettled, the Eight of Cups? It's because they're being guided to choose a new path for themselves. They're being guided to leave something behind or someone behind or a multitude of things behind and go on some sort of a spiritual journey here. And so your masculine has been struggling with this. They've been struggling with letting go, detaching, walking away from that which does not serve them anymore. Look at you guys. Look, look, look on the bottom of the deck. It's the five of wands. Okay, so there it is. This is what they've been struggling with. They've been struggling with leaving, letting go, going in a different direction. They've been struggling with even following their heart, listening to the call of their soul. Okay, I'm just really heavily getting that. Um, you know, the eight of cups is, is pretty good. It's pretty good, but it's not the ten of cups. And this is what your masculine is starting to realize that, you know, they want more. Their soul is seeking and seeking. It's pulling them forward. Their soul wants more. They want more. And they're starting to say things to themselves like, this can't be it. This can't be all there is to life, can it? Because if it is, that makes me sad. That makes me sad. My soul is longing for something else. It's longing for change. Okay, and I feel like with justice here, this is your masculine getting prepared to speak their truth, to know their truth, speak their truth and stand in their truth and say what they need to say to the right people at the right time. That is what courage is. Courage is saying the right thing to the right person at the right time. Okay, from your heart, from your soul. And I feel that with justice here, that could signify um, a divorce of some sort, okay, or a legality that needs to be closed out. Um, but it, oops, I dropped some cards. Okay, you guys, look, 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 look what fell on the floor. The Three of Swords, the Tower, the Tower. I was heavily, heavily picking up on this energy. Spirit was coming through saying that a tower is going to come in to force this change if the masculine doesn't do it of their own free will okay like we do have free will you guys but up to a certain point and then if we're not choosing the right path our divine path well spirit's going to make life very difficult when we're on the right path life is easy well, maybe not perfect, maybe not easy. There's still there's still challenges. There's still things you have to overcome and learn. But you are rewarded for being on the right path. You know when you're on the right path because your heart is happy, your soul is happy. You know you're where you're supposed to be. Um, but when you're on the wrong path, it's like there's problem after problem after problem. Nothing ever changes. It's the same ish, different day. There's these karmic loops, these karmic patterns that we just can't seem to get out of. We're in a hole. We feel stuck. We feel restrained. We don't feel happy. We feel, we feel defeated. We feel drained. It's not a good feeling. We know, we know when we're on the wrong path and 
you guys, I feel with the three of swords here, again, this could, this could signify, you know, a breakup, a separation or a divorce that is on the verge of happening here. We also have the king of swords here, which, <clears throat> you know, again, it can represent a lawyer. It can represent your, your masculine speaking their truth. And it may be a very difficult truth for someone to hear. It may also be a very difficult truth for them to speak because they know that it's going to hurt not only them, but someone else. And even though it might be a karmic partner, you know, your masculine has had a lifetime with this person or, or a lot of years with this person. They have a lot of memories together, okay? Okay. Um, so it's still difficult, it's still painful, it's still challenging, but your masculine, it's like they know they need to have this painful conversation. They know they need to speak their truth, even if it might cause heartache and upset in other people, right? Because as it is right now, they're not happy and they feel like, yeah, they're struggling. They want change and they're not good. They're not good where they are. And they have changed. They're different. They want different things for themselves now. They have a different mindset is how I feel. Okay. Um, and for those of you where your masculine is not with a partner, <clears throat> it could just, it could be family members who are putting pressures on your masculine to live a certain way or be with a certain person or be in a specific career like maybe they have a father who owns owns a business and they're like son you're gonna be running the show i want you um stepping into my shoes but your divine masculine wants nothing to do with the family business okay it could be stuff like that where it's like dad i don't want anything to do with the family business i'm sorry and people are heartbroken over that okay it could just be so many different things, you guys, so take it how it resonates. It doesn't necessarily have to be that your masculine is with another person, okay? It's just, it's karmic, uh, karmic people or karmic situations or karmic loops, and they can come in so many different forms. So, the tower, all right? So, tower moments are on their way to this collective of masculines, if they choose to stay in a state of conflict, if if they're if they're really struggling and they're refusing to speak their truth or make change, then a tower moment's gonna come in to wake them up, shake them up, and force their hand, force their change. And they're not gonna be able to sweep the issues under the rug, under the carpet anymore. They're gonna have to look at it and face it and deal with it, which is exactly what the King of Swords does. The, the King of Swords tackles challenges head on, okay? He uses logic and discernment and his wisdom to get things done, okay? Um, he's very organized, calm, cool, and collected. He doesn't let his emotions get the better of him. He keeps an even keel through difficult times. We have the king and queen of swords out here on the table, which is pointing to a high probability of like a divorced couple here. Okay, two people who have gone icy towards one another where there's conflict, arguments, and resentment. And, and there's just, there's no love. There's, there's no warmth. Okay, and <clears throat> there is healing that needs to occur here. And I feel like your masculine really is working towards overcoming these challenges, speaking their truth, and, and flowing with this change. However, there's still that resistance, you guys. There's still that resistance there. So it's, it's up to your masculine and their free will. If they decide to stay stuck, boom, in comes the tower. If they decide to take action, take charge of their life and make changes, then whew, things are just going to flow effortlessly here without the intervention of the universe here. Divine intervention is on its way though, if this masculine doesn't change. The hangman. So yeah, it's like your masculine has been hung up. This connection has been delayed. Um, and... The universe is like no more <clears throat> you've had long enough you've had long enough 
to to sit and think and figure things out and process this okay this is not a new connection i feel like this this has been going on for a long time and this masculine has been in a state of conflict for a long time they've been changing and shifting for a long time but they've also been refusing to move with the change okay so it's creating more and more conflict within themselves and outside of them as well in their relationships in their job stuff like this and i'm being drawn to when spirit said resistance is futile resistance is futile you must surrender okay because what you resist persists it's just going to get worse and worse and worse until you actually make a change so the hangman speaks to surrendering and letting go surrendering control letting go of control and <clears throat> excuse me this is what both of you have been learning on the journey is to surrender and i feel divine feminine you surrendered first you have surrendered this up you've surrendered to the flow of life to change you yourself has you've transformed you're no longer the same person that you used to be you know and your your masculine is <laughs> they're running up the rear they're following the rear is what i keep hearing like they're behind you they're cha they're they're sort of behind you and they're catching up to you when it comes to that but the, the divine is coming through saying this masculine has to surrender to this or there's going to be a tower. All right. That's just what I'm getting. Yeah, the Hierophant. So the Ten of Swords on the split. I feel like for many of you watching your masculine could have to let go of a marriage, okay? Or they have to let go of, of a way they've been doing things. Or they have to let go of some sort of traditional mindset that's been keeping them trapped or stuck. Um, it's almost like... <sighs> yeah... They've had to let go of some sort of long-term commitment, whether that was to someone else or to a job or to their family or a family business or something. Just take it how it resonates here. But your masculine has been learning spiritual knowledge, spiritual wisdom, and they've been learning karmic lessons as well. Seven of Swords. Um... So, they see their, if they are in a marriage, they see their marriage differently. They don't view life the same way they used to, okay? The hangman also represents a change in perspective, and that was coming through earlier, okay? And with the hierophant here, it's like they see their marriage differently, or they see a career that they've been committed to for a long time differently or maybe this is a masculine who was raised very traditionally um and and they're starting to shift their thinking shift their beliefs maybe they were raised in a very religious household and now they don't align with that and they're changing the way they they think and they're getting a lot of backlash from people about the changes that they're making and they're having to stand up for themselves. But um, <clears throat> let's see what this masculine really is hoping um, for when it comes to you. Like how they're feeling towards you, Divine Feminine. And then what you can expect next. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we have the star. And we have one falling out onto the floor. The Five of Wands. Okay, so I'm not surprised to see this since I was channeling through the Five of Wands. It's like... <laughs> Ah, oh, your masculine is struggling. They want you. They see you as a beacon of hope, as a star. You're beautiful. You're divine. You are heaven sent. Okay. 
You really are. You're an earth angel. You're very healing. They see you as someone who is out there and you're not afraid to be the real you. You're not afraid to be authentic and open and vulnerable. You have a lot of eyes on you. A lot of people see you and watch you and look up to you. And they are one of these people, okay? They're like one of your biggest fans for sure. But they are struggling here with the Five of Wands. They're still struggling with this change. And there's still someone else or other things in the picture here that's creating chaos and conflict for your masculine. And they really need to shift. They've got to let go. Um... The three of wands so <clears throat> it's time to make a decision and act on it is how i feel this is what your masculine is being guided to do they're they're being guided to make a decision that's going to put them in a position of power and success rather than in a constant state of conflict within themselves and with other people in their life so I feel that there's still going to be a, a weight here. There's still um, a lot of issues that your masculine needs to work through before they get to the state of surrender, okay? But just know, just know that there's a tower moment or multiple tower moments that will be coming in if your masculine refuses not to, to move. Anything else, Spirit? The Seven of Wands. Yes. See, this is what I mean. So we have resistance here. Um, there's still, your masculine is still putting up a fight. They're still resisting this. And, and yet, at the same time, they're like gearing up to surrender and then start pushing back against karmic energies. Okay, I really feel like your masculine is... At, at like the middle, the middle um, of, the, of the journey, okay, where it's like they're just about to start switching things and doing things differently. Um, it's like, <clears throat> I don't know how to describe the energy I'm getting. It's like, a, it's almost like the flip of a coin is going to occur, all right? And it's like people are going to start seeing a different side to this masculine that they've never seen before. They're going to start pushing back and asserting themselves and speaking their truth and standing up for themselves and um, pushing back against karmic patterns, karmic thoughts, addictions, um, things like this, pushing back against fear, whatever it is. They're going to start standing up for what they believe in and speaking their truth, but it's going to take them a little bit to get into this energy because they're still in the five of wands energy where they're in you know they're struggling they're struggling with this but they will overcome because we have the six of wands coming out they will overcome your masculine wants you to know that they love you and they're very passionate about you and they want a new beginning with you. They want a very passionate new beginning with you. Ace of Wands. Do you hear that car revving up in the background? Okay, your masculine's like fired up for you. They find you very, very attractive, very intelligent. The Three of Pentacles. Divine Feminine, you're hoping to. Just really focus on yourself and what you're building. You're really focused on building your world right now. And I feel that the best decision for you right now is surrendering up this connection and putting all of your time, your energy, and your effort into creating the world that you really want, okay? And working on your pentacles and your stability and making new friendships and, and dabbling in new creative projects and things like this. This is what's going to bring you the most joy right now and the most freedom and while you are still open to building with your masculine um you know i feel that the connection with you and your masculine brings a sadness to your heart that you just don't want to have anymore you you don't want to feel that sadness you don't want to deal with this disappointing feeling or this heartbreaking feeling and so you really are surrendering up 
this connection and focusing on yourself is how I feel. Um, anything else that you want to say here, feminine? Ooh, justice. Whoa, that came out with so much gusto. Um, you know, I can't help but feel like there is a little bit of sadness and maybe even resentment to your masculine that you, you still, like, I feel like you're trying to let it go. You're in the process of letting that go. Because if you look at these, her face here, she looks sad. And here she looks, she looks pissed. She looks mad. She looks upset. She, it's almost like, um, yeah, because when I asked Spirit for advice for you, Divine Feminine, I heard make peace with the past and make peace with the things that occurred between you and your masculine. Okay, especially things that you feel were unfair or unjust or, or weren't right or if things were like off balance. And if if you choose to, Okay, you can send love to your divine masculine and to their partner and just wish them well and just move on because I feel like that's going to be a catalyst to to a shift in the energy, you guys. Um, maybe some of you have already done that. Maybe some of you are being heavily guided by your higher self to do so. Um, but I also feel like you kind of want the truth and you kind of demand the truth. And if anybody comes towards you with with anything less than that, it's it's just a hard no. Okay, so you're doing what's right for you. You're standing in your truth. And I feel that right now, your focus is on your pentacles, on building your world and creating friendships and harmony and peace. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so... You love your masculine, but you have freed yourself. You have liberated yourself from this connection because it wasn't, it wasn't serving you to kind of keep pouring into it or to keep energetically hanging on to your masculine or um, tapping into their energy or connecting with them telepathically. I feel like you're just like, I've really got to surrender this, let this go and live life to the fullest and do what's right for me. And I'm telling you, that was a wonderful decision that you made here. Okay. The Empress. Yeah. The Empress. So the Empress speaks to, you know, knowing your worth, knowing your value, being open and receptive. So I feel like you are still open and receptive, but you really truly have let this go. And you're like, universe, what will be, will be. What will be, will be. Because, excuse me, focusing on your masculine was kind of keeping you in a bit of a stagnant energy here. Now, again, I feel like you're here because... You're always going to be connected to your masculine. You're always going to love your masculine. You guys are, you know, twin souls or soulmates or kingdom spouses or, you know, like you have been connected in multiple past lives or whatever this situation is for you, you guys. You're always going to have that strong bond, um, that strong soul tie. And you're always going to feel your masculine around you no matter what, no matter how hard you try to cut the cords or move on or free yourself from their energy. Um, if it is a true twin soul, you're never going to be free. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Sorry to laugh there. But it's kind of like ironic. It's kind of like a cruel joke. Sometimes I feel like um, it's, it's like, yeah, it, it's just this journey can feel a bit cruel sometimes because it can be very painful. Um, a twin flame connection can be one of the most painful journeys that you ever experience okay because the love is so deep but also the pain can be so deep okay um it, it really pushes us to grow beyond our wildest dreams it pushes us beyond the ego and 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 all of this so it pushes us beyond attachments and whatnot and i feel that yeah it is a bit 
like you might have tried to cut the cords between yourself and your masculine but you're you realize that you can't you can't you're never going to be free from them so the only thing you can do is accept it just accept that your masculine energy is going to be there make peace with that make peace with your masculine because that's what feels good to your heart space that's what feels aligned right that is what truly allows you to surrender and be free it's when you deny your masculine it's when you shut them out it's when you try to cut the cords it's when you have resentment towards them or sadness towards them that it creates heartache and creates a sense of being stuck and bound to this when you don't want to be but when you embrace love and forgiveness and compassion and acceptance and surrender that's when the energy shifts that's when you can shift that's when you're free and you're liberated from even yes your divine counterpart okay i hope that makes sense i hope i described that properly okay Whew. yeah see i just put the deck on the eight of swords And your masculine feels this way too. The more they try to resist you or push you away or deny their feelings for you or plug their ears and close their eyes, the more they feel your energy around them, the more bound they feel to you in a sense, okay? And you're both, you're both needing to get to this place of acceptance and surrender, you guys. And it's coming, it's coming here. It's coming in with the hangman. So <clears throat> do I want to pull anything else? I think I do. I think I do. Okay. Headache and my back hurts. This is your masculine's energy. So they are heavily, <clears throat> they're under a lot of pressure, is how I feel. They're under a lot of pressure by the universe, by by even like people in their life. Um, they're under pressure. And they're changing form. Just like how if you put something in a pressure cooker, it's going to... It, it's going to soften, okay? And it's going to change form. And it's going to flake away. <laughs> Why am I getting food? Food reference. I don't know. Um, and that's, I think, what your masculine is going through right now. Um, the universe is putting them in a bit of a pressure cooker so that they soften. And they, they can just sort of break down the walls of resistance, they're going to break down this masculine so that they're soft and tender and flaky and delicious. <laughs> uh, spirit. I desire to know everything about you, mind, body, and soul. I have to have you intimately. Yeah, and intimacy can be not just physical, but emotional, spiritual, um, mental, right? So this person wants to know everything about you, okay? And they feel inextricably connected to you already, mind, body, and soul. You're around them all the time. I go into the bathroom to check my phone, look at your social media and photos, and check up on you. I'm getting a lot of energy through my heart space. And I'm getting a lot of heat up my back. So your masculine loves you dearly and they're on fire for you. They're very, very passionate about you. They can't get enough of you. I'm craving you and your energy all the time. It's a constant craving. Exactly, you guys. They are. Ace of Wands. My back is on fire. My neck is on fire. So this is your masculine sending you a lot of passionate energy. They're craving you. You've humbled me, tamed the beast. I'm yours. 
I'm going to devour you, my love. It's interesting that the word devour has come out here because I was just bringing through food. <laughs> it's like your masculine's under this pressure and they're going to turn really soft and they're going to be ready to eat, ready to devour. <laughs> and it's like, you might have been going through the same process to be quite honest, Divine Feminine, you know, you could have been under a lot of pressure in your life and it's really softened you. Um, but um, yeah, there's something about your masculine heavily craving you, desiring you, wanting to devour you. Um, but they've got to they've gotta make these changes if they want you. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. There's going to be pain. There's going to be heartache. There's going to be um, a lot, but it's it's just the way it has to be it has to be done correctly um and they have to come clean they have to be authentic and live their truth it's really that's what it's coming down to you guys so whew, this is a long reading and i'm starting to fade i'm starting to feel a little bit worn out i'm not gonna lie this kind of took a lot for me <laughs> so i'm gonna go recharge i'm gonna go cleanse this energy have a cup of tea and get back to it but i hope you found this message helpful you guys i really really do um i hope that you connected with this i hope the messages resonated with you and you got something positive from it i'm wishing you all the best on your journey i'm sending you all the good vibes and remember stay aligned my friends stay aligned <laughs>